On today's episode, we're going to discover reason number four from Kenneth Hagin's book, Why Pray in Tongues. And we're going to discover that praying in tongues is praying in line with God's perfect will. You want to pray in alignment with the perfect will of God. If so, stay tuned in this podcast. Welcome to another powerful show of prophetic revelation and insight. Straight Talk with Wayne, your daily source of prophetic revelation, prayer, and the Christian news that you need. As part of the thesecondadam.com, Pastor Wayne invites you to listen, enjoy, and share these anointed messages of hope and glory. Reason number four. Praying in tongues is praying in line with God's perfect will. Romans 8, 26, 27, may the Lord bless the reading of his word. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God." Amen. Speaking in tongues. This is the big takeaway. My big takeaway from yesterday was speaking in tongues reminds us that the Holy Ghost lives within us. Amen. And so it keeps us in a place of, of, of acknowledgement and recognition and responsible living. Amen. But today's big takeaway, speaking in tongues, keeps selfishness out of our prayers. So let's continue reading out of the book. Again, this is Why Tongues from Kenneth Hagin. A prayer out of one's own mind and thinking has the possibility of being unscriptural. It may be selfish. Too often, our prayers are like the old farmers who prayed, God bless me, my wife, my son John, his wife, us four and no more. (laughs) The us four and no more, unfortunately, is real in many prayers today. In the scripture quoted above, Paul didn't say we didn't know how to pray, for we do. We pray to the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is the correct way to pray. But just because I know how to pray doesn't mean I know what to pray for as I ought. Paul said, we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself or himself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. P.C. Nelson, a scholar of the Greek, said the Greek literally reads here, the Holy Ghost maketh intercession for us in groanings that cannot be uttered in articulate speech. Articulate speech means our regular kind of speech. He went on to point out how the Greek stresses this not only includes groanings, escaping our lips in prayer, but also praying in other tongues. This agrees with what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 14, 14. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth. Was the Amplified translates, my spirit by the Holy Spirit within me prays. When you pray in tongues, it is your spirit praying by the Holy Spirit within you. The Holy Spirit within you gives you the utterance and you speak it out of your spirit. You do the talking, he gives the utterance. Let me say that again. You do the talking, he gives the utterance. By this method, the Holy Spirit helps you pray according to the will of God as things should be prayed for. This isn't something the Holy Ghost does apart from us. It's very important. These groanings come from inside of us and escape our lips. The Holy Ghost isn't going to do our praying for us. He sent in, He is sent to dwell in us as a helper and an intercessor. He isn't responsible for our prayer lives. He is sent to help us pray. Praying with other tongues is praying as the Spirit gives utterance. It's Spirit-directed praying. It eliminates the possibility of selfishness in our prayers. Many times, we have prayed out of our. Many times, when people have prayed out of their own minds, they receive the things that were not actually the will of God and were not best. If God's people insist on having things a certain way, even if it isn't best for them or it not God's perfect will, He will often permit it. God did not want Israel to have a king, but they kept insisting they wanted one. So he permitted them to have one. But it was not his perfect will. Now I'm going to give my commentary. That was you know, reason number four out of the book. I love this. When we pray in an unknown tongue, we're praying void of selfishness. Now, I know there's times when I pray, I have something in my mind, like, hey, I'm praying over, uh, I'm praying over my family, and I begin to pray in tongues. I'll, I, my, my thought process may be upon 
our business, our ministry, my health, friendships, who knows? And I begin to pray in an unknown tongue. Now, I do believe, and again, I can't scripturally prove this, so understand this. I do believe if my heart, Lord, I need an answer. Lord, I'm praying about this business. And I just begin to pray in an unknown tongue. The Lord knows my heart. But the Spirit is praying in perfection. I can't manipulate the tongue. I can't manipulate out of selfishness or lack of knowledge or ignorance because I don't know what I'm saying. But the Holy One does. I love this. The Holy Spirit does. Speaking in tongue keeps selfishness out of our prayers. I love this. And so when we pray in our prayer language, one prayer to God, without knowing what we're praying, the Spirit searches our heart. The Spirit does. Now, wherever you're at on politics, and we'll give a short, and I'm going to paraphrase this to the best of my remembrance. I heard this a few months ago. Lance Walno. So those who know Lance, he was, um, he's definitely been in the prophetic for a number of years. He said, he, can't, he notices one day. It's like you find yourself in a place, right? Like, how did this come together? But he's in a room... This is, I believe, in 2016 or 2015. I know it's whenever Trump was running. He's praying, and he's he's literally praying over Trump, and he begins to give a prophetic word over Donald Trump. And then what's interesting is after he gives the word, he kind of walks away to the side. He's like, Lord, how did I get here? Not huge into politics and not a political leader, not a politician, but here I am praying over who was going to be, and they were not certain at the time, but who was going to be the president, 45th president in the United States. How did I get here? How did I get here in this? I believe they were at the Trump, bill, Trump Towers. How am I here praying for him? And the Holy Spirit spoke to him and said, this is what you prayed for when you prayed in tongues. This is what you prayed for. See, the Spirit knows the desires of the heart. The Lord gives us the desires of our heart. And the Spirit knows, and He prayed a prayer in unknown tongues. That is, uh, um, a couple things here. That His own mind couldn't go, wow, that's unbelievable. I don't know if I can do that. So there was no room for doubt. There was no room for fear. There was no room for unbelief. Also, I love this. Also, in that area, God heard it and God performed it. And... This is where we're at. This is where we're at today, guys. Pray ye one for another is important. Pray for yourself is important. And I love how we can just go into Romans 8.26. We know not what we should pray for. But the Spirit itself makes intercession for us with groanings. that cannot be understood. They cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the heart. Who searches the heart? The Spirit of God. Knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh the intercession for the saints according to the will of God. What a perfect prayer. Guys, I pray, if you've never received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, if this may be your first time listening to this message, go back and listen to the other messages. Father God, I pray everyone listening to this, that they would just open their mouth and speak, that you, Holy Ghost, would just fill them and give them the gift of tongues. Give them the baptism with the Holy Spirit, my Lord Jesus. Give them the gift of tongues as evidence. And Lord, let them words just be uttered, hallelujah, from the Spirit. And may they be edified. May they be encouraged. May they be built up for the advancement of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Guys, I believe in you. Hit the share button. Share this podcast with somebody. Be sure also to jump over to PastorWayneSutton.com. Get your free resources. And as always, I believe in you. Because I believe in the Jesus Christ within you. Make it a great day. Thanks for joining us for Straight Talk with Wayne. Do you need prayer, counseling, or personal prophetic ministry? Then go to thesecondadam.com for more information. And be sure to sign up at yourprophecynews.com for the latest updates, free resources, and prophetic news. God bless.